guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do a glide kick. So, let's get started. We're also going to be going over some tips today, but first I'm going to just show you the steps and some drills. So, the first step is the glide swing. If you guys don't know how to do a glide swing, make sure to go check out my video on I, how on the tutorial I did for that. The next part is bringing your legs up. Let me show you that one more time. The next part is pulling up your pants, or that's what people call it, or just pulling yourself up. When your legs get to the bar, you want, so when your toes get to the bar, your toe gets here, and then you pull it up. So I'm gonna show you guys in slow motion what it looks like. So let me show you. That's basically all the steps, so now let's get on to the drills. Let's go! Yeah, so for the drills, I'm not going to talk about the glide swing very much, because if you guys want to know some drills, make sure to go check out that video. So, first thing we're going to practice is getting your toes up to the bar. So, let me show you one more time. So, you've probably heard of this if you've either go to gymnastics or you watch other videos but we're just gonna do some toes to the bar so we're gonna hang on the bar and then toes up this is really good for core strength and it can help you with grips let's get on to the next drill okay guys so the next drill is to help you with the pulling up your pants motion i have two drills for this one but this one is very common so i'm going to show you it before I even tell you guys this, this is actually a very important drill. When I was learning how to do a kip, I didn't think it was that important, but once I learned it, it was like super important. So this is a really important drill that I totally recommend you to do. So you're gonna need a bar. You can use a broom handle. I have my little bar pad here. It doesn't have to be like the same diameter. It just has to be a bar. So you're gonna lay down. And you're gonna put it out like this. Then you're gonna bring your toes to the bar, and then you're gonna not take the bar away. So you want your legs to be touching the bar the whole time. So let me show you here and touching, touching. But once you get here, you want to sit up. If your legs leave the bar, then it'll be harder for you to get up because you want your waist to get all the way to the bar, so you're basically, your legs are doing the whole work for you. So, let's get on to the next drill. Okay, guys, so the next drill is to help you with the pulling up your pants motion. So, what you're going to need is a stack ship mat, or I have this, like, old slide here. And it's just basically a platform, so that way you're on top of the bar. What you're going to do is you're going to put the mat out a little bit in front of you. So, I have the platform right here. And that's going to be perfect for you, like, at this angle. Almost a glide, or when you're in a glide swing. So, like that. What you're going to do is you're going to put one foot on the platform like this. Both hands on the bar. And with this foot, you're going to, with this foot, you're going to kick it up and then pull up. So, you want to try to keep your leg to as close as the bar as you can. So, walk. It's okay if you jump off the other foot, this is just helping you practice the motion. I like this drill overall better than the other drill that I just showed you guys, but you can do both. Let me show you guys again. Remember when doing any drills that you should stay tall at the top just to create the habit. Okay guys, let's get on to the next drill. Okay guys, so the next drill um, is 
like just to help you get your strength. So I have two of them, but this is the first one. You're gonna want a bar that's about like as high as your head and at least that high. You probably don't want something like a pull up bar, like the high bar I have, but you want something like this. So like sort of like a competition bar where you have to like pull up, but it's still low that your feet are on the ground. So this drill is really easy. You're basically gonna practice jumping up and getting to the top of the bar. This one will build a lot of strength, and if you want to add in the pulling up your pants one, you totally can. It's really hard to, though, so I don't recommend. Okay, guys, let's get on to the next drill. Okay, guys, so for the next drill, we're also going to be focusing on strength. You want to get on top of your bar. You're going to be doing some dips, so you're going to dip down and up. This is you're also going to practice your strength. Okay guys, that's all the drills I have for you. Now let's get on to the tips. Okay guys, so the first tip I have for you guys is to get your feet as close to the bar as possible. So. I got this tip from a friend when, before I, when I was still learning my kit. And basically, when you do your dip and you bring your toes up, you want to get them as close to the bar. So almost touching, you don't want to be like extremely kicking it because that would just hurt a lot. So yeah. Another tip to add on to that is to make sure that your legs are like really close, just hovering over the bar the whole time until the bar gets to your waist. Okay guys, so the next tip is really more of like a confidence boost. But if you can do a pullover, this skill will be super easy because, well, not really, but still, it, a pullover is very much related to a kip. Here, I'll show you. In a pullover, you're pulling your arms up and still getting your toes to the bar. But instead of going over the bar, you're going around the bar. Let me show you. In a kip, you're doing the same thing. You're getting your toes to the bar and you're pulling up, but instead you're going forward instead of backwards. So basically in a pullover, your, your legs are going over, and then in a kip, your legs are going back down. So let me show you a real kip to see if you guys can kind of see it. Okay guys, let's move on to the next tip. Okay guys, so the next tip is to make sure you get your toes to the bar before your body swings back. Let me show you. So when your body swings into the glide swing, you don't want to be swinging back because that's going to get your waist away from the bar and it's just going to be super hard. So make sure you can put something like this over here and once you touch it, you should put your legs up. So go here. That's kind of far. Hold on, guys. And then up. Let me show you again. Here and up. See, let me show you the difference in when you swing back and then swing your legs up. It's kind of impossible. So, yeah. Here's another tip for a straight arm kip. So, you want to keep your legs to the bar until your waist gets to the bar. Because if you let them go, it will cause you to bring your momentum down. So, you want to keep your legs up until your waist gets to the bar. So, what I mean is, you know how I said to keep your legs uh, hovering over the bar? That's what you want to do until your waist gets there. So, let me show you. Watch the difference. My legs released too early and kicked back, which caused me to back down and bend my arms. Also, it makes me pull up. Now watch when my legs stay to the bar until my waist gets fully there. My arms stay straight because my body is fully on top of the bar. Okay, guys, that's the, that's the 
another tip, let's get on to the next one. Okay guys, so the last and final tip is to stay strong and just practice. Practice makes perfect, and the more you practice, you'll get it. And remember to not get down on yourself because I know you and you will always get it. Just, it just takes patience. Also, guys, one more thing. Remember on your first tip, it may not be the best, and even if it's not straight arm, you can just keep practicing with the drills I also gave you for the straight arm tips. And I got my straight arm tip in about five days. So that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.